Hey everyone, this is Sam with the Band Room 2. In this lesson, you learn how to play Plowed by Sponge, one of our favorite songs to do live. Here we go. Alright, now I know the part that you guys all want to learn, which is the opening riff. Um, to do this, and to if you want it to sound exactly like the record, you need to t tune your guitar down a half step. Now, I have not done that, so um, just have that in mind. This is in standard tuning. The original recording is a half step down. When we do it live, we actually do it at, at standard tuning. So the opening riff, there's different ways to do it, but I think it's best when you have your opening E ringing out and you start on the third fret of the B string and you're going to be sliding back and forth, back and forth. And you're going to come up uh, from the third to the fifth, third to the fifth, and then up to the uh, seventh and the eighth. And it goes like this. Make sure you slide back, all right? Otherwise, you won't quite catch the essence of the riff. All right, so you do that like this. And you just keep doing that over and over. I think you do it four times in the opening phrase. But again, the key to make making the sound correct is one, play your E with that. Um, it gives the, gives the riff more body, okay? And then slide up and slide down. Okay, so it goes. So you do that four times and before you go into the power chords for the chorus, or sorry, for the verse, you're going to add something uh, to that. So you're coming in your last time, you're going. And then put your, um, your ring finger down, lay it down on the uh, D string on the seventh fret. So I'm here at the fifth fret with my B string and index finger. With my ring finger, I'm going to drop it down like this. So it's going to sound like this. Sounds kind of cool, huh? And it's it's what you do as you go into as you're going into the first verse. Okay, so. And then your last time you're going to go like this. It's just basically doing a mirror of everything you're, uh, you're doing on the B string. Just one fret or um, a full step up on the D string. Okay? So then you go into your power chords. Your power chords are just um, up, down on the fretboard. So you start, it's an E to a D, A, back to your D, G, C, back to G. Okay, it makes more sense. You just think you're going down, then you're going down, then you're going up, then you're going down, then you're going over on top, and then you're going down, then you're going back up. Okay, let's make that... Uh, sink in a little bit more for you. It's basically this rhythm pattern. So, again, let's go through that. So it's E, E, A, or sorry, E, E, D, D, A, D, G, C, hang on C, and then go to G, and then just go down one fret on your bass note. So the, the power chords for the verse are power chord E to D, A back to D, then G, then C, then back to G. 
So you're just basically walking yourself down the fretboard with power chords. E, E. And then just drop down one fret on your bass note on that G. So it becomes a F sharp G. Okay. Okay, so that riff that uh, is being played during Say a prayer for me, say a prayer is, um, it starts here. It's going to be like this. while your other guitar is doing back and forth. So that riff uh, that's being played is like this. Um, we're on the D string, 12th fret. We're on the G string, uh, 11th fret. And on the 8th fret of your B string. And that's the first part of it. So it goes like this. And then you drop over from your 12th down to the 10th fret on the D string. And you play this. I'm doing the D string, then the G string, then the B string, and then back to the G string, then back to the, the B and G. It's a little bit of a stretch from the 12th fret, but I think it, that's close to what they're doing during this uh, part. Well, the other guitar is basically doing, I guess, let's see, it's going to be a D to a C. I'm plowing. You hold on to a C. You can play it either here or a power chord. Plowing to the sound. I'm plowing to the sound. And a E minor. World of human wreckage. In a world of human wreckage. My guitar is out of tune. When I'm and I'm found and I stay on C, I'm plowed into the ground. And now we go back to that riff. And now we're going to, on the second time you play the riff, in the middle of the song, now you're going to walk it up even further. So just follow me. Okay, so remember when you're doing this riff, every time you're also ringing out your open E. Okay, on the second part to that, we went over the first part, the second part. But better than hammering on and off is you want to slide up and down. And then the lead is just basically melodic notes ringing out. And the key ones are um, on the 15th fret of my B string. And then drop it.
Now I'm on the um, thir uh, 14th fret of the G string. I'm just ringing out pentatonic notes. Okay, so bend first and then drop down. Is the C. That's basically bending up on 15th on the B string and then hitting your E string on the same fret, the 15th. And then it's say a prayer for me. For me, say a prayer for me. Back to the same thing. Hold that C in a world of human wreckage, C. In a world of human. In a world of human. When I'm lost and I'm found and I can't touch the ground, I'm plowed into the sound. And then you just finish it up without the riff, but you're going back to Will I wait? I'm made up. I guess it's reality. And that's pretty much the whole song.